I'm National Weather Service meteorologist Peter Chan for Alaska Statewide Weather on this Wednesday, October 5th. We have an area of low pressure this Wednesday afternoon situated just north of Cold Bay on the Bering side of the Alaska Peninsula with a front extending along the length of the Gulf Coast, pushing up now toward the northeastern Gulf Coast around Yakutat and the Panhandle where there has been some moderate to heavier rainfall occurring. We've also seen gale and even some storm force winds reported along this front, especially strongest winds at least earlier today have been around Shalikov Strait and the entrance to Cook Inlet. Those winds though will be coming down. And as the moisture along the Gulf travers, traverses inland into the colder air across the mainland, it's gonna create more accumulating snow across parts of the interior, including areas of the Copper River Basin, Wrangell St. Elias Mountains up through the Alaska Range, and then all the way up toward Fairbanks and the 40 mile gold country could pick up another one to three inches of snow in the lower elevations. Now, some of the higher elevations, there is a winter weather advisory for the Eastern Alaska Range uh, through noon Friday, where as much as six inches of snow could fall. And that would include locations like Isabel Pass. And as we look, uh, Toward the west, we have stronger winds creating elevated surf along the Yukon Delta coast, as well as St. Lawrence Island and those brisk north to northeast winds will continue tonight into the day on Friday. Another area of low pressure will be lifting out of the North Pacific into the Gulf on Saturday, and that will bring another round of breezy conditions and mainly rain to the Panhandle. And as a reminder for the state of Alaska, this week is Winter Weather Preparedness Week. So now would be a good time to just think about winterizing around the home, making sure your vehicle is uh, ready for winter, uh, making sure uh, various power tools that come in handy, such as a chainsaw, your power auger, uh, snow blower are all ready to go. And also make sure you have some extra parts on hand in case something does break down, it makes it easy. You can do your own repair if you are so inclined. But again, winter is upon us. We've already seen some areas of the state uh, picking up uh, some snowfall. And with this cooler weather pattern continuing, we would expect some intervals of uh, more winter weather likely, especially across interior areas. For Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Peter Chan.